Hi all, welcome to Balkan Shipyards, outdoors. So let's bulk of the Bentley. Yeah, we're gonna put some uh, air conditioning pipes on him now here, because we're going sailing. So it's the air conditioner uh, insulation things. I buy them from the shop, they cost a euro or something. I put on three of them. I'll do that next week. I'm going sailing, guys. Michael Blake's going out to sea, there he is. He's going out to see this boy. I love him, man. That armor is wicked. So he's going. He's going to do what 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 Maker Blake's going to do now. Is hopefully I'll cruise up the Bulgarian coast now, and uh, I'm going to test because because the Avaya 3025, she's two times Maker Blake. Take away a little. What does that mean? <sighs> She's nowhere two times nothing. She's a bigger version of him. She was supposed to be a two times when this was the Avaya 30. So that's a two times Michael Blake, but it's narrower to be faster. And the armor is different and everything is different. But I'm going to do this now. I'm going to take Michael Blake out for a spin and I'm going to put this type of a ladder onto him. And this is the Polynesian type. It's a stick in a thing in the water. It's an oar. It's a stealing oar, but you don't turn it like a western. Rather, you just shove it in the water and pick it up. And you shove it down and you pick it up. And you're moving your seal all back and forth. And you're hooking. So you have to play with your seal all versus your CE. So that's why I come up with these plural rigs, the, 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 the Lashang from Balkan Shipyard. So what he is. I'm putting the CE of the Pacific Pro, which is not a Pacific Pro, this is a Drua, because it's a symmetrical hull, but let's go to back to the rig. This is the Lashank. And I call it, why do I say this is a Latin rigged shunting junk? By Balkan Shipyards. Yes. So, and what it does is it moves, the yard moves fore and aft. The mast doesn't move because it's a, it's a spar holding a piece of cloth, which is a sail. That is, that is a yard at the moment. It's not a mast anymore because the mast is fixed to deck. So then this is, it's a, it's a shunting junk, but it's latin rigged. Why is it latin rigged? Because the cloth is hanging on a spar that moves fore and aft. Okay? That's a latin. The latin has a, has, a, has a mast and a yard, okay? So you've got the mast coming here, and you've got the yard holding the crab claw with a boom. But you don't need the boom if you want to be Arab latin. Why do you need that piece of wood at the bottom? You don't need that piece of wood at the bottom. So then you're a latin, okay? Now, that's on, a, that's on an Arab dow. Over here, the CLR is roughly fixed because it sails only forward. But in Polynesia, they said to themselves, yes, but we want to sell two ways. That means we have to move, our CLR will be changing big time. We're going to move our CE for him. Okay? So then, uh, I can't shunt this leg now because I'm holding a camera, but yeah, it's obvious that this just flops over to here and you get the whole same thing going the other way. Going backwards, which is again forwards. So what you do to compensate to hooking the, the, the bow off and keeping yourself in the groove of the fastest groove towards this wind, you would need some type of a stealing aid. But over there was not used things that turn like this. It was used things that are shoved down like that. It was just moving the CLR back and forth, okay, versus the CE. You have to be close with the CE, yeah. And then you just shove down, yeah, and as you go down, you get CLR moving off. CLR on a, on a shunting boat is, is, is ahead of the center, yeah, on all boats it is. But so from ahead of the center, that's to move to ahead of the after when you go the other way. So you have very big CLR changes over here on this type of a shunting vessel. Okay, so now you have to make very really big CLR CE connections on your rig and connect to your new CLR and you have to move your whole rig over. So the shunting crab claw or whatever Polynesian type of rig or whatever you want to call it 
That's what it used to do. It would move from bow to bow. It would not stay on a mast in the middle at midship. If you're in a, on a mast at midship, you got a main or you got a whatever you want. You're not moving. Your CE is going back every time, not forward, but your CLL is going forward. So what you're going to do? You're going to add on all kinds of foils and rudders and all that. And yes, you will do it. How correct is that? I don't know. Whoever wants to do it, let him do it, man. It's all good. So I'm saying to myself, if I go sailing now on Michael Blake, I've got to show you him. It's that one. Whoever doesn't know Michael Blake, he's the king of Balkan shipyards. He's player number three, third boat from Balkan shipyards. And this is when the nail hit the head. Okay? And I understood what players are about. So he must deal with my with my AD skull. Mr. Mr. Doi from Japan, he's a sculling genius and uh, I respect that man a lot and AD Skulls are his research and development and work to come to the perfect sculling or as far as Balkan shipyards are concerned, Mr. Doi, well done. You have come up with the best type of sculling or for a certain type of a boat under a certain type of conditions in the world. The AD Skull, congratulations. It's a brilliant piece of tool because you can do two things. You can, you can scull an oar. And it's so fun and easy. But if you've got a headwind, you're finished, mate. And if there's locks behind you, then uh, it's time you learn how to say hello, good day, Welcome, am I welcome on you? Because you come into those locks, okay? This does not work to windward in a wind. If it's a four, five knot wind, no problems. But it has much less power than a than traditional two oars from the sides of the boat, yeah? Blowing. Evening in Balkan shipyards, make or break, the vaca. He came down from there to here. Because he's getting ready to go into the sea. It says over here, going to see, I can't see if you can see, I left it in the dust, so it's going to see. Via 30, the model. The Ama, make or breaks Ama, this is why not Ama, the second pro from Balkan Shipyards. Gave away to a, to a pub on the Black Sea, I'm going to go and see it now. In Sao level, hope it made its uh, place. Uh, this is a real Balkan shipyard, it says it over here, you can't, there's no mistakes. Here's the Vaka, and the Ama went in under. So we, now we're going to start working on, I'm just going to go over everything. The rig, the masts, everything is over there, the Ak is over there. The AD Skull is ready, I've checked the welds over here. When you're going to see, you don't play brave boy. There's no brave boy at sea. Everybody goes down at sea. The sea is stronger than you, so if you don't want to go down at sea, then you check your boat, eh? You make sure that everything is good, eh? Don't go to sea if you don't check your boat. If you don't know your rigging and your stuff and you haven't looked at it and you're going to sea, you're not a good seaman, man, and you're worth dying, okay? So everything comes down. I'm gonna go and look at it, look at all the welds, look at all the stuff. This is where the center Aka gets connected onto the armor. It just comes in here, it's a very stupid thing with a bolt over here. That pulls down a dagger through here, comes a look. And when you pull, the dagger just goes down, okay? Piece of cake. So it's about testing this type of a ladder. Hope you can see it's kind of dark. But it's just a blade that gets pushed into the water. I want to put it onto him. So I'll be sitting on the hatch, roughly, yeah, and the blade comes down over here, okay, and brings my seal all back just by pulling it up and down. So yeah, Balkan Shipyards is busy because we're going sailing, guys. Uh, sorry for the darkness. That happens every day, man. Every day the sun at one point has enough work in and it says I'm going bye-bye for sleeping and it starts doing that. And then when it does that and it disappears and it gets all dark like this and you can't see what's going on, okay? But, I mean, it's something that you just have to get used to. Um, lighting at Balkan shipyards is what we got and it's what we need and we don't need more. 
and the quality of the videos is about the same. Take care guys, Balkan Shipyards. Welcome to Balkan Shipyards, outdoors. Boyko Bentley too, he's our Bentley. Half the car is fiberglass. Uh, I've even done some welding on him the, the other day. Come, you want to see my welding? Okay. So this is Boyko, so you come here. You open the door like this, it falls down because there's a stainless steel bolt over there that I put from one of my boats because the hinge broke. Things happen. You fix everything, I mean that's what's glad about these old cars, you know. Over here there was a stereo, it pissed me off so I flew it in the rubbish and then there was the hole with the wires hanging out so then I put on a piece of plywood, poplar ply, this boat building stuff. I do everything with this car, Opel Corsa 1000cc, I love this machine. So, that's my spare wheel, because uh, all the spares of the car, and the tools, and the junk, and the yellow jacket, and the little ledge angle, and the thing to put out the fire, and all the rubbish is in the, in the, in the well, where the wheel used to be, because the wheel used to be tied on the roof, I thought I was a jeep at one time, but then Jenny said that it doesn't look good, the wheel on the roof, and the wheel must come back off, it, off the roof, and it must go in the boot. So that's what happened, but it was great life when I had the wheel on the roof because then I was uh, full on uh, space over here and all my junk is underneath in the hole. Uh, here's my welding. <laughs> the ugliest job you can do. I did it with pride. This whole thing was gone. It was torn from here, all rusted out, blown out completely. And then... Uh, over here there was a big hole already. That means that there was only the bridge left. It bleaches it and this thing comes in, you know. Now I'm going to load the boat. I need the car to be strong so then we don't do that kind of stuff because neglection is something we don't forgive. A mistake we forgive, neglection we don't forgive. If you, were neglect, if you neglected your boat and you went out to sea, and they see ate you up and spat you out on the rocks, like that. But because the rigging broke when you were in a bad spot, but the shackle was finished, it was rusted out, it was a piece of junk, why was it still there? Why didn't you change it before you went to see? That was neglecting, you didn't go over your rigging, you didn't check your rigging, you didn't check that your stainless steel fancy ropes are not starting to come out one pieces by one, that, 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 that eat your... Eat, eat, they catch the meat on your hands and they eat you up. Meat eaters, whatever they call. So then we're going over the league. And first of all, we don't have those meat eaters, the stainless steel stuff. This, uh, I put in a new bolt today. Because, I mean, I don't know where the old one is. But the old one, I'll show you it later on in the video because I'll find it in the mess. It was lusted to shit, man. And it bent a few times while I was still adjusting the rigging. Before I knew the lengths of the back stays and the shroud. So sometimes it would go over a little bit too much and the thing would bend a little bit, but then you'd bend it back and stuff. I don't like that. Metal that's been bending is not good what it was to you. It's not what it used to be, okay? And if it's all rusted all around and exactly in a point where it was bending the most, it's kind of looks the worst. Nah. No. You can go to sea with that, my friend, but I think it's better to change it, put in a new one. This one went for a long time, it would have kept going. So here's workstation, and this is the boat. This is the Avaya 3025, which is the plow daughter of Make or Break, which is finally a good prop from Balkan Shipyards. And for me, for myself, this is the best micro cruiser in the world. I can't find a better micro cruiser than this one for myself. Okay. If you just take into calculation, this is 500 euro built. Roughly, I don't know, maybe it was 700 euro in materials. Poplar pla from the shop and screws from the shop and everything's from the shop. Okay? There weren't any chandeliers involved, there wasn't any fancy, nothing involved. It was like, you just, okay, so I, do, I have gone to, to chandeliers, but they were fishing chandeliers for fishing boats. They gill up fishing boats. So I go there, I buy all kinds of stuff when it comes to rigging sometimes. This is a new 
going sailing now so I want to start steering this boat the way they used to be steered which means you have a, a steering oar which you push down and pick up and you change you, you pull your sail all off by as much as it's down and when you so when you go down you fall off the wind when you pick up you rise up to the wind and you have to find that of the picking up and lowering your limb down and keep going to where you want to go to which is there So, this is the dream boat, Plur number 4, the Avaya 3025, Plur 1 Force 213, 213 because first of all 1 Force, what's 1 Force? 1 Force is everything's connected, it's all one. You take, you pop the, when you, the balloon is all got one skin, you pop that anywhere you want, it all poof, the balloon goes poof and everything goes out of him and he falls on the floor. That's 1 Force, it means it's all one, yes? That's this boat for me, okay? It's all a, it's a, it's, 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 it's balanced and it's all united. And it's all, everything, everything needs everything. There is nobody over here in this boat of mine that, you, that is replaceable. You can't replace the rig, you can't replace the armor, you can't replace the akas, you can't replace the ladder, you can't replace the vaka. For example, they're all irreplaceable, but they're all in balance and they all have their job and all do their job the best in the West and everybody's happy and it's a happy working system and that would be one fourth. 213, that's Yampa, he comes by, he's a French bard, he's a crazy nutcase, so he comes by, we drink a beer, he sits over there and he shouts, this boat must be 13! And 13 is the luckiest number of myself. I drink 13 gollops of water every morning because I want to keep the doctor away. So it's 13 gollops from the tap. I do it every morning and I never forget to do it. If I'm driving on the way, then I'll do 13 gollops of the bottle. But I've got this thing about 13 gollops, okay? So he has this, this boat has to be number 13. And then he says to me, because it's 1 plus 3 is 4. This is your fourth build. So then he hits me hard with the number 13 and with my fourth build. So that's the 13. 1 plus 3 is 4, fourth bull. The 2, is because Yampa jumps and says, yeah, but it's going to be 2.13. And I say, well, what 2? What, what, what do you want? And then I say, yeah, Yampa, yeah, man, 2. And then suddenly, now he first shouted 2.13 because you're going 2.13. And then I said, yeah, Yampa. And then I, and then I drew a 2 and a 1 and a 3. And he says, no, 2, T-O-O, 13. And I said, yeah, but 2.13, Balkan style is 2.13, is 2.13. So we're going 2.13, we're going to the, to the fullness, okay? It's been 10 years in the making, it's been a hard run. Holy mother, it's been, it's been blood, sweat and tears, guys. It's been so much failure, holy shit. But when you succeed, the failure the failure just gets blown away. The failure is part of the of the of the of the load. It's the it's the hard load that you have to go down, and it's the bumps on the way that hurt your feet. And the more your feet hurt you, the more you respect that you went down that load. So then that would be. So that I have to make him out of ply, and I want to move him over, and I want to test this as a new way of stealing the stealing the boat. Of course, it's going to work. But how good is it going to be for my boat, under my circumstances, under my everything? At the moment, I'm only on the AD scale. I'm working on rigging at the moment. I'm going over everything. All this is my spare ropes. Today I went and I bought a new 20 meter, 6 mil, double blade, standard polyester from the hardware shop. I don't know how much I paid for it. Uh, 3, 4 euros. So here we go, this is like, because I cleaned up the shop, because I brought down all the boats, because I'm getting the latest sale, so now I'm actually working on this boat, and that one's tucked away. So because I was messing around everywhere, so then all these things came up. So, here's the last loop from Balkan Chpia. So this would be, so you got a mast, yeah, and then you got a T-bone. You got a T-bone at the bottom, okay? And that T-bone is holding the jib and it's holding the main. And this whole thing shines like this. The whole thing goes over. And you tie only the front point of this long boom to the bow, to the new bow. Okay, wonderful, it will work, yeah. Best in no way. This is a, this is a, this is a Latin ballast drone. 
This is a bell. This is a bell of steel on Latin style. Why is it Latin style? Because again, you got the mast that is holding up everything that everything else is moving. So this is not a bell of steel on whatsoever. It's Latinish. Because you got the mast holding the yard, holding the cloth, and that all moves. Okay. So then I went from that, but then I came to the point that it came to me that the tension in this bottom of the wishbone, this boom, is aggressively high. Why? Because if you want to tension the laugh, yeah, then you've got to tension the laugh. So you tension in here, so then you're going to pull this up, so then you compensate by tensioning here, so you're going to bend it like a banana is going to go up. So then you can put on glazings and you can put wire cables underneath. But then what do you need all that headache for? Because you're going too much and it's already costing money and it's labor and it's just a mess. So then that fell. Now this thing would go to windward. I believe. I believe this could be the sloop from Bottom to Piard. I believe it, it'd be a windward thing. I don't know how easy it is to move over the whole biz. You know, this crazy stuff, you know. I mean, like, I don't know, but you can come up with engines and stuff. Yeah, everything's possible in the modern world. I mean, batteries and motors, you, you can do whatever you want, you know. Then it came out like this, then I kept going because I keep going, so then I got like, so that's the CE gerb and then that's the CE main, okay? And that's the CE, the, the clab claw, that's the CE of the clab claw. And here's the clab claw, it's drawn here, you see it, here it is. You put this clab claw on here, that's your CE. You put this, the little sloop, from my country you put him here, it comes to here. You move it back, your CE. That's good. That's not good stuff. It's bad. It's bad stuff because on the plow your CLL is forward, so you might as well take your leg towards your CLL because your CLL is a fixed fact and you might as well live with that fact and work yourself towards it, rather bring it and fight with it and add foils and bring CLL off because your C is off to start off with, but the boat is a forward CLL anyway, so why are you going to mess with all that? So you might as well just stay forward CLL and move C ahead. So then the Lashank was born from Bark and Shipyards. Uh, so this might be one of the first drawings, maybe the first of the first, I don't know what it is. So then that's the Lashank, okay? And now what this is, so you got the mast, yeah. Which is holding a yard, which is aft of the cell. It's aft of the cell at the moment. The cell is covering it. So the mast, that's the yard, and that's the mast. And you move everything over. And that's how I work. I, I mean, like, uh, you got to draw stuff. If you can't draw your ideas, then you can't see them, you can't improve them, okay? And that's why I've been messing around all day long, building a ladder out of cardboard, making it the best in the West. It was born here, and then I said, well, since I'm going sailing, I might as well see what was just got born and see if it bloody well works, and if it doesn't work, then it goes out the window, and if it does work, then cool, man, it won't be the first time uh, uh, something drove us bonkers and something else worked and something else didn't work, and everything works or it doesn't work, but if you don't try, you never know, so it's never going to work, so, so you might as well just make it work, you know, so we make it work, okay, guys? I suppose. <laughs> Nothing beats a shanta. You can be a tacker, and I love you for that because tacking boats are the best in the world. They're the best. But if you're a shanta, you're a shanta, and then nothing beats a shanta. Okay? It's not an argument, it's not up for debate, it's just what it is. When you understand what shunting means over the whole process, it means. You have to buy the material, build the boat, put in a great effort because that's all you got. And you do all those things all together, all four of them, and you don't forget the end dream, okay? You stay focused, you don't stop the build in the middle. If you stop the build in the middle, you're not welcome in our club, okay? You start a build, you go through. If you do from that to cruising, nothing beats shunting. Nothing beats shunting. Claws are the strongest of Maltese and the stablest of monos. Guys, keep shunting. Balkan Shipyards.